Good morning from Aulani. Uh, this is our last day, unfortunately. It's our last full day. We check out tomorrow morning. Yeah. So we have like a little bit of time in the morning. Yeah, but we wanted to say a huge thank you to Disney for having us out and providing this for us. Yes, I am so excited. They have like set us up with some really awesome stuff to do. Like this morning, we're gonna do a character breakfast. Yeah. And then we're gonna snorkel. And then I think we're just gonna like hang out by the beach in the pool and get some souvenirs and shaved ice. I wanna do that before we leave. I'm gonna go down the slide. Oh yeah, I wanna go down the slide too. So let's head down to our character breakfast. I'm so excited. Everybody's gonna be in their vacation clothes. Oh, so. Yeah. We are in our vacation clothes. While we're waiting to meet Mickey before breakfast, Moana is up in the rocks by the pool. <laughs> Look, there she is, just waving at everybody. <laughs> hey there, Mick. How's it going? I like your vacation outfit. You look yeah. so relaxed and comfortable. <laughs> right? <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah. Just been hanging out by the pool all day? Oh, yeah. We are relaxed as well, doing some swimming, yeah. some snorkeling, some dancing. <laughs> Yeah, oh, shaking hands, I love it. <laughs> oh, we'll get to meet her later, but there goes Minnie. Now we're just waiting for them to call our name so we can go and sit down, but look at this mural outside. It's kind of frightening looking. Hi Pluto, we'll see you later. Look at that. It's all like blown glass, fruit and fish. All kinds of different murals everywhere. This is amazing. And then it's a buffet. Whoa, look at this bread. It looks like watermelon. So first thing we've got is an omelet station. And then we've got some charcuterie. And I love that everything is written out in English and Japanese because Japan is only about six hours away from here. And you will find a lot of Japanese influence in the food such as this uh, watermelon bread. And then we've got you know, salmon, salad, tomatoes, more fish, some fresh fruit over here. I don't, this is called Li Hing Pineapple. Chinese licorice powder on there. That sounds real gross, but I will try it. Uh, what is this? Southern style grits, steel cut oatmeal, nishimi? Oh, okay, it's like a Japanese soup. And then we got some stuff to put in various soups and oatmeals. And then we got some potatoes, some grilled island fish, some corned beef hash, guava, lili koki, and mustard glazed ham, island style fried rice. I don't know what makes it island style. It looks like it's got pineapple in it. Got some uh, miso soup and rice. This is egg white frittata, but, uh, buttermilk biscuits, which are already covered with white gravy, pork sausage, bacon, Portuguese sausage, I don't know what that is, and chicken sausage, eggs benedict, eggs. Uh, this is Hawaiian loco moco. Got some hot syrup, some coconut syrup, that's really interesting. Hawaiian sweet red French toast, Mickey shaped red velvet waffles and buttermilk pancakes, assorted danishes and donuts and muffins. And oh, look at the little banana. Looks like a fish eating another fish. Amazing. Look at that. It looks like a fish eating another fish. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> and then some parfaits. And, parfait. <laughs> and then, and uh, then we got you know, just cereal, some milk, and then this is the kids section. Tater tots, scrambled eggs, bacon, and Mickey waffles. I may have gone a little bit over the top on the food that I got, because I got a lot of it. I'm excited to try some of those. This is an omelet. The moco loco sounds good, and this sounds really terrible, so I'm gonna try this one first. This is that licorice powder on there. First impressions, that was weirdly good and bad at the same time. I don't even know how to describe that. It almost tastes like salted pineapple, but it's non-sour, but then you get this like hint of licorice. That's really terrible, but good. Update on the Loco Moco, didn't really like it. The tastes I get are like Salisbury steak, rice, eggs, and like a sweet gravy, like a, not sweet, but like a sweeter brown gravy. The breakfast buffet here is, oh, there's Pluto. Look at that. 
the breakfast buffet here is interesting because there's so many familiar things on the buffet, but things taste just slightly different. Like the Egg Benedict, a little bit different than what you're used to. Everything else, for the most part, was pretty good. The stuff that I've never tried before was, I don't know, interesting. Not my favorite. There were some things that were good. Can you show them the cute, like, I just think that's like such a cute idea. That is a good idea. Yeah. So what did you think of the things that you've never had before? I tried the loco moco and I didn't, um, I think what I didn't enjoy was the burger underneath. Like it's not something that I'm used to eating for breakfast, so it was a little bit like, I don't know if I like this for breakfast, but I think that I would like it for a, a later meal. I don't right. know, it's, just, it's kind of like a little bit heavy, which I guess makes sense because, you know, breakfast is like the most important meal of the day. So. You want to like get your sustenance? Let's go get you a donut. I don't know, but I think what I enjoyed the most was probably just my omelet. Yeah. I'm boring. Sorry. Also, the uh, sometimes they do the moco loco with spam. Yeah, I want to try something with spam because that's like the thing. How's it? Oh, high five! Sorry, I wasn't ready for you. I love your leg. That's so awesome. Yeah. Oh, he does the hula. I love it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He really knows how to hang 10. Yeah. Oh, you guys kind of match. Oh, yeah. You knew that Minnie was wearing her pretty dress, so you wore yours, too. Gotcha. This is perfect. I love it. Oh, yeah. I like that. Can I see it? It's kind of backwards on you, though. Oh, Look, yeah. There it check is. it out. It says That's Pluto awesome. on it. So we're all done with our character breakfast. I feel like maybe they don't set this up the same way that they do the ones that we have back in Orlando where they like seat it in sections and then the characters all come into that section because it was kind of like a oh. long time in between characters. Well, I think what they do is they do it by row. Yeah. So there were like three long rows of tables and I think they go down each row and then come back up. But I also think that it's a buffet so you're going to spend more right. time here because you're going to go to the buffet more than once, which we did. So, I don't know, it makes sense. And we got to meet everybody in about, it took about an hour and a half. It was two hours. Oh, was it? okay. Yeah, it was like an hour, hour and, and a half. half. And then, I don't know, I think that's pretty standard, right? Yeah, the only thing was just we were done eating and then we saw three of the characters. Like, we saw one character while we were eating. Oh, right. And then three. But I kind of feel like I almost like it better that way because you can eat your food. Right. I don't know. I just. I enjoy eating all the food. So let's go hang out by the pool. Yeah, I'm so excited, you guys. Today is our pool day. Yeah. One thing that we didn't realize is that you're supposed to come here to Kawele Corner and get pool towels and wristbands, which we didn't do yesterday. Nobody said anything to us, but to make sure that people that are using the pool are guests of the resort, they hand out wristbands. We've got our purple wristband for the day. That way we don't get kicked out of the pool. I'm gonna save this forever. I don't know what changed, but the ocean is especially blue and green today. And it looks beautiful. All right, time to get in the water. Got the GoPro on. Hopefully gonna get on a couple of slides here. We just don't know how to get to them, but we will find out. All right, so it was a little bit confusing. So over here on the side, there's a whole like bunch of tubes here. And then you can either go in the lazy river with them or up those stairs over there and go down the slide. So me and Jen are gonna go down the slide together. Well, it seems like we have picked the longest of the lines. I think that just means this is the better slide. Yeah. So we're in the right line. Because literally one person went up the other slide while we were just standing here. I think we picked the right one. Yeah. Tell you guys. <laughs> you guys should have gotten wet beforehand. Oh no, no seatbelts. Oh, we got stuck. Oh, dear. Oh. Here we go. Whoa! Whee! Oh, we're going really fast. Holy cow. Oh, I was not expecting to go this fast. Holy cow. Here we go. Flash down. Oh, we did it. And now we
now we're in the lazy river. Oh, are we? Yeah. Oh, should we just say it? Yeah, why not? Okay. Now it's time for some shave ice. I'm excited. I don't know what I'm going to get. There's so many different ways to do it. All right, buddy, if you drop that, what do we do? Like, there's nothing I can do for you. I'm not going to come back. I'm guessing. Hold on, two hands. I don't know. I'm Maybe. Get the number one. Yeah? Okay. Just plain shave ice? Maybe I'll get the sweet and condensed milk. Okay. Why not? I want to get a picture of it too. Oh, we'll go ahead and head back to the chair. Oh no, I never showed you guys our Mickey shapes. Oh no, I, sh I showed yours, but I didn't show you mine, and I didn't tell you guys what we thought of it. What do you think of it? It's pretty good. I mean, it's just like, I think my flavors are really good together, because they all mix together at the end, so you want to make sure that they actually go together, because you're, you're going to be drinking them all together. Boom. Yeah. It's really refreshing. It's very, like, sunny right now. Like the sun is beating down. So this is very nice because I was super hot. <laughs> I got the uh, sweetened condensed milk on top of mine. And I don't know that I would do that on a really hot day like today because it's just like putting milk on top of your ice. But all my flavors were good. She gave me all like tropical fruit flavors with the condensed, sweetened condensed milk. Here we go. I'm going to go out into the ocean with my snorkel and everything. I don't know if I'll be able to see anything, but it's worth a look, right? Let's go head out there. got in from like out in the ocean and I think if you can get out there first thing in the morning it's clear but as you guys saw it's not too clear out there and uh, it wasn't bad it wasn't too cold there was a little saw a few fish saw some sea urchins some rocks other than that nothing real special there is rainbow reef inside of here which is like a spot where they have all the fish so we're gonna go yeah. uh, snorkeling in there oh oh no Oh, oh dear. Yeah, of course. for the next slide and then once it's green we can go how excited are you you were yawning I'm sorry. I what am very excited. dang all right you ready Whoa! Whoa, it's dark oh my gosh okay just darkness just nothing but darkness oh we're going so fast oh we got all lightness here we go That was fun and exciting. Now we're just waiting on Jen to pop out. Let's see. Oh. Oh, there she was. Did you do it? Was it so much fun? <laughs> yeah, it was. Just wanted to come around and get a look at the lazy river, see if there's anything interesting in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, I thought it was like a fork in the lazy river. It's not. There is like a splash playground over here for the kids. Just like a play set, but full of water. There's, just to give you guys an idea of where that is, the main entrance to Aulani is back there. This is the 
feminine side and this is the masculine side. It's the side with Maui and Maui's mom on the other one. There's a section here with an island and there's two different ways that you can go over there without the laminar flow fountains but over here this is called laminar flow because they maintain their shape as they shoot through the air and these light up at night so right now it's the daytime so you can't really see it but they do light ah they do light up at ah they do light up at night i'm so confused as to where i'm at because it looks like the lazy river is going this way and then it turns around and goes back that way there's where the tube slide comes out and then every once in a while a geyser goes off here. I'm hoping that it's gonna go off now, but so far it hasn't. Oh, all right. Well, never mind. Everybody's trying to avoid the waterfall. Oh, this is cool. It's like a little grotto almost. I wonder if there's a real cave somewhere in Hawaii that's just like this. Possibly, right? They're doing the iPad thing. Oh, they set off that one. Oh, that's so cool. And you can see them right over there. They're playing with it. This is what we talked about in a previous video where you get an iPad and you go around and do like a scavenger hunt, almost like Agent P, and it sets off various effects around the resort. So Jen just got some coconut shrimp. Look at the size of those things. I saw like 10 people walking by with it and I was like, I have to try that. Like yeah. I'm not even totally hungry. We had a big breakfast, but I need to eat this. Yeah. So. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Goofy is out strolling around. Can I have a high five, Goof? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We are walking. We've heard that you can like walk all the way over there onto that grassy area. So we're gonna try to get over there. One of the other people in our group said that you can get a spot on this little catamaran here for $100 a person. Sounds expensive. And just looking back at Alani, and then right next to it is a private wedding chapel. And then. I don't know. We're almost over to the grassy area. So this is Kohola. So there are four different lagoons. And right now we're on the shore walkway. Uh, Hono Lagoon is the turtle lagoon, which is what you're looking at right here. And there's Aulani right there. And I think that this is just like a public walkway that anybody can come down here because there's public bathrooms right here. There's also a payphone here. An ancient relic. There it is, looking back at Aulani. That's pretty impressive looking, I have to admit. And that's the Four Seasons right there. A little private wedding chapel. And then there's a bunch of other hotels and resorts along all these other lagoons. Oh yeah, you guys know that I'm about to go out there. We decided to go on a little adventure out here. Look at that. Holy macaroni. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. There's Aulani. Look at this. Wow. I don't know what that is, but it looks amazing. Holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna say something a little bit crazy, but if you're staying at Aulani, like that's it right there. Just like bring your stuff over to this beach. Yeah, there's nobody here. Look at how nice this is. I mean, there aren't any chairs out here. Right? But just get a towel. Right? This is nice. Is it, I think this is the Marriott? It's, I don't know, but it's smaller. Like, the, the little lagoon here is smaller. But, looks nice. It's really pretty over here, yeah. I guess you have access to all four lagoons, like if you're on this, like if you're staying at a resort in Koalina. They said they kind of all share the spaces. Yeah. So. Yeah. Should we go to the other side? Let's go over to the Four Seasons okay, yeah. and have a look. So I do say that with a grain of salt. Like, yeah, there are less people on that beach, but no chairs. You can't get drinks delivered to your table from the Disney thing. You can't charge to your room key out here. Right. But there are less people. I like how it drastically changes when you get to the Four Seasons property. It's like, bam, Four Seasons. This is interesting. This would be like a good spot, and you can tell they have it set up for weddings. Right here. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, I don't remember if I ever showed this or not, but look at the little splash pad. Oh, it looks like an octopus. I didn't notice that before. That's so cool. Also over here, there's another bar. There's another pool over here. And then this is a grab and go that we ate breakfast at once and it was pretty okay. I like the breakfast a lot. Yeah, it was called Ulu Cafe. Over here at Rainbow Reef Rentals, I wanted to show you guys something. So we just did the reef experience where we went in and we got some snorkel gear but they also have supplied air snorkeling, which is like a little floaty that goes behind you and 
like one step below scuba and then just recently they started another program that is actual scuba diving in there oh. yeah and they're only doing the scuba diving one day a week and that's on a friday yeah, we're not gonna be so we here, can't do it we would totally do it yeah this one's wednesdays and thursdays in the morning and then the other one's fridays in the morning so we can't do either one of them I'll have to come back. oh here's the the different premium seating options i didn't notice that this is where you would rent like a a lower veranda Oh wait, so that one that we saw that was like the executive one is almost $500? I, I think that there is another step above this that's not even listed for the executive one. Oh, Because okay. this is just pool deck cabanas. Wow. Here there's about three of them though. <laughs> like these two right here next to the little splash paddy type playground thing. Just notice that right there in the koi pond is one of the interactive elements of the uh, iPad game. And you can see right now it just came up and it looks like the Hawaiian Islands with all the bubbling water around it. There it goes, it's raising back up. Okay. So you can't really tell. Yeah, it's like <laughs> floating back up. So you can't really tell that it was the Hawaiian Islands. It just kind of oh, looks like a rock. Until it sinks down. Until it sinks down and then it looks like the Hawaiian Islands. Oh my gosh, that's kind of cool. That's pretty intense, it's very large. Like that is a very large effect. Came back up to the room for a quick shower before uh, getting dressed again to head down to the luau tonight. So I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what kind of luau this is. I don't know if it's going to be like the spirit of aloha at Polynesian. Yeah. Maybe it might be more traditional. Who knows? Yeah, but we both wore our lays. Mine is a little bit on the dead side, but oh, yeah. maybe we'll get a new one at dinner. Maybe. So we're in the lawn for the luau. You can get Moana ears, some nice Alani ears, Moana dolls. They gave us a new lay. You can take your picture with these guys over here. They're gonna get us tattoos. Will they do tarot pounding too? This is fun and exciting. All kinds of stuff to do. This is the luau. We're actually in, on the back lawn, kind of back behind Auntie's beach house is right behind all these bushes here. They said it was the story of the first people that sailed on a canoe to Hawaii. They're over here teaching the kids how to play the ukulele. I want to go sit down and learn. Oh, look at that. There's people that have a room that just looks into this area. They've got the best show. We've got juice and cocktails that are both included. Little welcome drinks. They can make a corsage or a lay here. Yeah. You're doing it. You're making a bracelet. This is awesome. So before we came out here, I had this dream that I was making Jen learn how to play the ukulele. And uh, she got so mad at me because she didn't want to learn. <laughs> now I'm going to make her learn. I'm doing it in You're Hawaii. doing it. Are you doing it? I don't think so. Oh no. <laughs> You're doing great. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Is this going to hurt? Not as much as that. We got warrior bands. We got the turtle. We got Maui's hook. We got fern. I'll do uh, Maui's hook. Why not? Thanks, family. Oh, I did it. Wow. That was easy. I have a new tattoo. Quick and painless. Right? That was really fast. Uh, should I get one too? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. You're gonna get it in the same spot as me? Yeah, of course. Uh, Where'd you get oh, I'll take a leaf. Uh, right. Here it goes. Oh, you did it. We match now. We do match. Yeah, show it. This is like our dark mark. Oh, it is, right? Starting to uncover some of the stuff. Got bread pudding. We've got coconut pudding, some brownies, a guava cake, and then seasonal tropical fruit. For the kids, they've got little Moana cupcakes, big wave fruit cup. Ooh, this looks really good. Various salads over here. Ooh, look at these. Taro and guava croutons. Macaroni salad, ahi poke, lomi lomi salmon salad, poi. Little taro buns. So it seems like there's kind of a lot of different areas where the food will be. Over here, and over here, and over here. I see beautiful pe'e on my friends here. 
here our lovely flower bracelets. I hope you were all able to make one of those. Now make sure you hold on to them because we're going to do something special with them later on tonight. We also had our Ohe Kapala, our stamp cards. We had some ukulele lessons. We had cacao. Did everyone get to get a tattoo? A uh, cacao, a Polynesian. Wonderful. I love it. She was like, yes, look at this one. Amazing. Did anyone get to go back there and learn how poi is made? Anybody? Wonderful. Did you get to try a sample of it, buddy? No, you didn't? Well, that's okay. You're in luck. If you didn't get to try a sample, we have some for you on the buffet. It is an acquired taste, but it's always nice to try something new now and then. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I see that we have a voyager who has journeyed a far to be with us this evening. Would Moana. you please help me welcome Moana! Right there. Oh, hello. 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 Welcome. We are so glad that you've joined us. Aloha. Thank you. As a visitor of the island of Motunui and on behalf of my voyaging people, I have brought this gift to you. Oh, Moana. This is gorgeous. Mahalo, thank you so much. We'll treasure it. Thank you. In all of my traveling throughout the Pacific Islands, I've loved learning about the different cultures, the food, the people, the traditions. Oh, speaking of traditions, ma ko ko kamea'ai. The meal is ready and we cannot wait for the feast to begin. But before we start, my ohana, my family and I, we would love to offer all of our new friends and visitors a mele ho'okipa, a chant of welcome. Oh, that sounds wonderful. We have our own welcome chants on Multinui and I am so excited to hear yours. Oh, well, let us begin. Oh, no, na i ka hala me kale hua, he hala le hua no ya na ka no e, oh, ka uno ia e ano i nei e li a nei ho i o ka hiki mai, a hiki mai no o ko, a hiki puno me ke aloha, aloha e, aloha e. Aloha, Aloha. Wow, that was so beautiful. Here's the spread now that it's been opened up. This looks pretty interesting. Got some rice, got some sweet potatoes and some purple potatoes. Some sort of beans it looks like, pork, some chicken, and then the fresh fish. They have a slow roasted prime rib, a whole pig, some pork here. And they also have some bao buns that we can use. I was trying to keep everything on one plate, and then I had to get an extra plate here. Oh no, are you okay? I smushed my own hand. Oh no. All right, and the big thing that because you're in Hawaii, you have to try the poi, so here we go. This is a root vegetable. This is the main source of the Hawaiian's uh, starch. And I don't know how you're supposed to eat poi, but I'm just gonna eat it like this. Apparently it's an acquired taste. Tastes like bread, like paper pudding. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's not terrible. Like I was expecting it to be horrible. Let me try it. It doesn't really have a, a whole bunch of flavor. Yeah, it tastes like paper. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh. So there you go, we did it. Yeah, I'm glad I tried it. We tried poi. They told us to put the shredded pork, the crispy bit of pork, and the poi on this bao bun, and that's the way you eat it. The skin part was a lot crispier than I thought it was gonna be. Mm -hmm. It didn't have a lot of flavor, the yeah. skin part. Everything else does. That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah, I like the, the bao. I didn't do the poi and uh, the crispy part, but yeah. I did the rest. That was good. I got my bread pudding, I got a brownie, I got a guava cake. Then I got this thing. No idea what this is. Kind of looks like some sort of weird tofu thing, but I know it's not. Let's give it a try. That's kind of good. It's coconut. It's a very, very weird texture, but it's pretty good. We got some great stories for you, but Mahila, you know there's no better way to tell a story than with a little bit of hula, right? Yes, totally. I agree. Now, did you dance hula for your friends yet? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
beautiful Hawaiian music and of course some lua. But the most important thing you need to remember when you come to a luau is that you must always arrive with a heart filled with aloha. Aloha means good luck to you until your call. left to use the bathroom in the middle of it and it's in Ama Ama restaurant so it's kind of far away but on the way out we noticed that there are grills at this resort available for any guest to use so you could come out here and grill up some steaks those grills are kind of right outside the backyard of auntie's beach house and we need to be out on Ula, and so they are going to dance with us so we're gonna dance together as one big ohana Oh, 
love for you to do right now is to you take that coupe, that flower wristlet, and offer it to someone that you care for very much mm. as a makana, as a gift. Oh, Go ahead, man. <laughs> Thanks. where he captured the sun and slowed its path across the sky. Son had no choice but to agree. And ever since then, I was whether he not could dry her kappa. The man has enjoyed the warmth of the sun here for long and pleasant days. entertaining mm -hmm. there was a uh, a super emotional twist in the middle of it there was i was not ready there's this whole story about so the the brother and sister that are telling the story they're like the storytellers um they were talking about how i feel like i'm gonna cry again oh no uh they were talking about how how much the island means to them and how they care for the island and how the like it was like you're one you're like one with the earth basically and like then they started talking about how their mother died and how like they go to the ocean and they like feel the wind and it's like her and just like it was so emotional it was just, I, I can't even explain i can't put it into words like it was it was just basically like everything that the island gives them was like her as well like she was a part of it yeah and it was just really sad and I don't know how they did this Disney magic, it, it was just nature, where they're like, 
Every time the wind blows, we know that she comes by just even for a little bit. And then the wind started blowing? <laughs> yeah, it started to get like really windy and it was just really emotional. Like, it really I, was. It really, like, I was like sobbing in this show. Yeah. Like it was... I was you were <laughs> you were bawling. You were was, more than just sobbing. It was like really, I don't know, I felt kind of embarrassed because nobody else was crying, but I... It was it was a really good show. It was yeah. like it was definitely I recommend it. I think that it was something that I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Not right. that I was expecting it to be bad or anything like that, but it was just more like I think that you were kind of because it's Disney. We're at Alani uh, Alani a Disney resort. Right. And you were expecting it to be Disney. Well, and it was a little tiny bit, but, but it, was, it, was it was more, more so like Hawaii. I don't know. It just made me like fall in love with Hawaii. Not that I hadn't already fallen in love, in love with it, but just the way that they spoke about the, everything. Yeah. I, I wish I could explain it. It was very, I don't know. It was just really touching. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was good. It was, it was really, the Luau show was really, really good. I will say that when I, when I said that it's not, it's not as Disney as other Disney things that we have done. Mm -hmm. I think that kids will have a hard time sitting still, sitting still through that. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know if I agree with that. I think because there was so much going on, there was the hula dancing, there were the fire, um, like, I don't know what you call them, but they were like twirling the fire. You know, they brought the kids back up on stage and they were using the instruments. And so I feel like there was enough interactive stuff that the kids would probably be okay. Yeah. Because it was only an hour. Like, right. the show portion was only an hour. Right. I don't know. I feel like kids might be able to sit through it. I just know that I saw like two or three kids like getting antsy. Did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I, it was really good. I think the adults will really enjoy it. Yeah. I think if your kids are like into cultural things and museums and stuff like that, I think they'll really enjoy it. Yeah. This was our last day here. I know. And I think that's another reason why I was like getting sad because I don't want to leave. <laughs> yeah. We have just, just breakfast tomorrow and mm -hmm. then we head to the plane and yeah. fly for an entire day we're to gonna, get home. Yeah. We're literally going <laughs> to miss a day. Yeah. So. It was amazing. It really was. Fantastic. Yeah. This was like the trip of a lifetime. Yeah. And so because it is our last day, we do have to get to bed. So yeah. get ready for an entire day of flying. <laughs> so with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Mark. I'm Darcy. And now, and now it's, it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.